right, and we are here with our go-go DC music scene legend, actor extraordinaire. You see him on the wire, Slim Charles. Big G of Backyard Band. How you doing, up, brother? Man? Beautiful, man. Beautiful day. Right here at the DC Music right. Summit. Got a bunch of panels and stuff going on. This right. is what the city need, man. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? I, I, I totally think so. Oh, definitely. definitely. I mean, yeah. you know, one thing about music, people forget the business side of it. And what the summit is doing is trying to help you get your business right and your grind right so you don't get taken advantage of. So you don't have to, you know what I'm saying, uh, sue somebody for West Ride, feel your oars, your words. <laughs> hey. You know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of people go wrong at. <laughs> right. And they get so mad with the world, man, but it, it was you yeah. and your business wasn't right. So, you know, exactly, exactly. I've been through that as a kid as well. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, if you've been in this game long enough, you probably had to do some, some legal entanglements, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, we was fixed up now. Got great management, great family. Right. The band, everybody's on point, moving around with the film stuff. It couldn't be better. Right. Now, yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I me, mean, I've been here for 11 years, so I'm not really from here. But Big G, the yeah. name, rings bells just outside of D.C. You know, and yeah. if it's from The Wire or even the backyard band has some acclaim outside of D.C. Yeah, yeah. We, went to, <laughs> we traveled to Ghana. We went over there twice, and it was a dope situation. Right. My man Diallo took us over there. We performed them in La Body Beach, mm -hmm. the African tourism place. Also, we performed in slave castles over there. Oh, that's dope. Just a lot of history in Ghana, mm -hmm. the Cape Coast. It was awesome. Right. Yeah. yeah. Now, 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 as an official, you know, born and bred DC here, because now with justification, not that many, you know, and, yeah. and Uptown representative, what does Uptown mean to you? Uptown means to me everything. Everything. You know what I mean? The birthplace right here that we did our thing. You got Jungle Boogie. You got a mm -hmm. lot of really great go-go artists that came from Uptown, man. So, yeah. Yeah. like, I learned a lot as a kid, and I just keep pushing it. I won't never stop pushing go-go, and mm -hmm. this is what I love, and I won't never stop. But it's like a lot of the youngers coming up with the bounce beat, and I think that that's so dope because it's like their own style, their own time, and the generation that moves on. You don't want nothing to stay the same. Right. So what Uptown means to me, everything. No, no, it's, it's funny. You mentioned the bell speed, right? Yeah. So for, for those that are watching that aren't up on Google like that, what is the bell speed? What is the pockets? Well, bounce beat is a little different. It's a different caterers uh -huh. with with the drums, with the with the congos and the roller sounds. It's like, dun 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 dun. Versus your boop boop boop. Okay. Okay. Like right. Chuck Brown. Jump back, y'all. The old song with R E, with Go Go Mickey and Foots. It's a little different. So the bounce beat is just like with hip hop. You got the younger generation now, the little babies uh -huh. versus the Scarface and the Jay Z. Right, so right. times change. Now speaking of Scarface, who who loves DC, loves DC. Many times that DC is his second home. Yeah. Who was one of the first, if not the first, to come here and show love and perform with Gogo -Go bands, how do you think that he's helped Gogo, -Go, if he helped Gogo? -Go? Oh man, helped us man bridge that gap with the hip hop artists mm -hmm. that wasn't too familiar with us, like Slim Thug, mm -hmm. some of the Fifth War guys from Houston, Texas. Right. And he just like bridged that gap, man, all the way from Devin to Dude. And then you had um, No Limit Records. We mm -hmm. had a real big relationship with Fiend. Oh, is that right? Mr. Yeah. Magic, Mystical, all those guys. So. It's just, man, like the older ones, they really pretty much know about the Go-Go with Dougie Fresh, with Rare Essence. Mm -hmm. They have a big relationship with him. So it just like trickles down. Like the youngers, I think they should grab the younger artists and get relationships with them. Right. The TCB, right. you know, they travel around to L.A. and all that. So it's like it's more, it's more bigger things coming up for the Go-Go scene. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. So what do you think is the future of, of Go-Go with the don't, you know, Mute DC happening? What big, is the future of that? Big things. Oh. We're we working on a museum right now with Ron Moses over in Southeast, right by the um, Bus Boys and Poets. Okay. We're doing a big lot yeah, of big things. F festivals right. coming up. We got a big backyard festival coming this summer. Okay. We're going to do over in... Um, over the St. Elizabeth Browns. Okay. It's a lot of things coming up, man. We're trying to get the go-go to get back in the schools because mm -hmm. the kids need to know their culture, where the music come from. Also, we are now the official music of Washington, D.C. Is that right? Yeah, McDuffie pushed that bill. We've been pushing. Yeah, that's There's a dope, few that's more dope. steps to go, but we're working, man. Uh, I can tell you, as a non this year, uh, I didn't know what go-go was, but I knew what go-go was yeah. because of Salt and Pepper, Herbie Love Bucket. But I didn't know it was go-go at that time. Got, you know thank, what you, thank you for saying that because <laughs> I just was telling a few people on a panel at the Kennedy Center yesterday. Mm -hmm. You had that go-go swing with Salt and Pepper, 
Herbie Lovebug, Ken Play. That that what you think you're doing about the new jacks, the new swing? Right. Well, that go-go swing was in the hip hop culture back then. Mm -hmm. And then Def Jam, you had Junkyard signed to Def Jam yeah. back in the, the day. The first go-go band there. signed to Def Jam yeah. back in '85. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Junkyard, yeah. so yeah. the list goes on, man. Yeah. As a matter of fact, no, uh, Junkyard was inducted into you know the hip hop museum that's here in DC. Yeah, yeah. Just last Archives, year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. Right. So, 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 so now you can say that yeah. Gogo is getting some. Yeah, we getting in there, man. Yep. So Gogo, being a musician. How did that help you as far as, you know, getting to acting, as far as acting wise? Well, I think my popularity with that helped me. You know what I mean? I didn't know too much about the acting. I was trying to get into it with the Pro Scout. And a brother of mine, Jay Cooper, that passed away, that was going to eventually run for War 4 uh -huh. council seat, he took me to an audition for The Wire. All right. And I've been rocking and moving ever since. Right, 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 yeah, right. right. Yeah. Um, do you have any other uh, acting gigs coming up? Anything yeah, you want to get into? I, when I just finished The Deuce on HBO, that's four times a charm I've been doing that. Also, I leave tomorrow to go to Morocco to okay. shoot a pile in Africa. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's so dope. it's a bunch of stuff coming up, man. All right, all right. Yeah. Well, we definitely thank you for giving us a few minutes of your time. Yeah, thank Please you. Please let the people know where they can find, where they can reach you You can check at. me on my Instagram, Anwan Glover. A N W A N G L O V E R. Also, Backyard Band Straight Out, B A Y C K Y A R D. And I'm right here. All right, thank Washington you, brother. Washingtonian's finest. Big thank team. you, brother. We appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. All right.